mundo vem com se fazer Colinha, ia, ia, o lugar da A fé hoje no gol que se perdeu Eu, 
four. Jerusalem on high, my southern city eight. that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also which are asleep in Jesus' sleep, will God bring with him. Then the reading of the Bible passage, may the Lord bless the soul of Praise the Lord. Our second lesson for our mother's burial, Mrs. Felicia Iyabo Ogumbambi, is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verses 13 to 20, which read thus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead, 
that die in the Lord from henceforth. Ye fear the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Trust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he sat on the cloud, trust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud voice to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Trust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for our grace are fully ripe. Here is the word of God. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. The sickle into the earth and gather the vine of the earth and cast it into the great vine press of the world of God. And the vine press was thrown without the city and blood came out of the vine press even unto the earth bridles by the space of a thousand years. And six hundred for loans. May the Lord bless His word once again. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are moving to item number five. In our pamphlet, page five, the biography. Rockenny. Rockenny. Yes. This is Mama's biography. Let Mrs. Felicia have a one Mama was born to the popular Deshaye Ajawadi family of Amotibo in the Jaw quarters of Tibibo. Her late mother was Princess Orukosi Adeshaye Niu Ooru. Her father was led by Israel Deshaye Ajawadi, who was well known for the Jala Ode in his lifetime. Mama had no opportunity of formal education. She got an informal training in buying and selling. She got married to her late husband, late Akuna de Bwambi in 1960. In the traditional way, her marriage was blessed with successful children, grandchildren, and a great grandchild. Mama joined her husband in Osle in so many areas of life, which took them to different places like Lagos and Gehobe. They lived together at a rented one bedroom apartment at 225 Agede Motor Road where the other one was known for using scraps of used things to create useful items. Suddenly, with this knowledge, they to Yabo Day to establish strong boxes business locally known as Ibaru. It was widely accepted as the only means of boxes for bribes to build. School children, boxes, etc. Late Mrs. Felicia Yabo Gombe was in charge of it is painting with used tires melted in open light to design the products. It was a successful business then. The husband upgraded himself to welding and building construction. Hence, Mama could not join in the business, being a business dominated by manpower. She started selling breakable plates at a household market in Jabrude. She changed her business later in 1970 to Claudius. Hence, the nickname Felicia Madam also. I read her song in 1974, the birth of her twins, Boys, however, interrupted her club business as she couldn't travel to Lagos as expected. She changed her business to plant selling. She was on the business so she became widowed in 1988. She accepted Jesus as her personal savior and renounced all other gods. Being a unique mother, she assisted her children in the cause of nursing her children, including myself. <laughs> she was a mother in a million who lost children both but and not biological without any evil intention. She left the sinful world on the 6th of April in a peaceful way after a brief illness. So real Yeshadi Ayagula do Gwambi, or more Joe looking in a more annual twin 
You came and saw a conquer. Glory be to God Almighty for his fruitfulness during your lifetime as a Christian. Praise the Lord. Why sitting down? We are going to listen to a special number from the choir. Choir administration. <laughs>
Amen. Ẹnirẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ̀ẹ
Mama Iwaeremi Shekere wo ni mo ni di banki ti wa osoro lo sora gbogbo mire mire lo nbe ninu ile ore mi dakun lo soro are nje oro ti bi pe ile ile atoko a ma wo laye bo ba tan aya aya lo yo na wa sori agba re kodo lojo ojo kan iku a wo lede were a mo lo ko ma di ko soro ko soro to ma lagbede o ni fi loko baba tun de ma ki e soro ara mi to baba bi o le re wi pe ta lo korin ebi seti re so fun won pe felix baba tun de omo a se be ni Emi lo ma se pe ogidi ninu Jesu o ma gbo buruku di bibe ni mora o ma ojumo kan sa mu kan odidi tin dori elese ko ba le wole ologo e je ka fu Jesu lati wo ogbala Our God is here Well our lens is a last respect to mama that the purpose of our gathering has nothing to do with Mama again. It's for us, for those of us that are alive. Maybe God in His mercy may open heaven to a particular person here before it is too late. Anything that has to do with Nigeria or whatsoever is over for Mama. Whatever things that is happening, Gary or whatsoever, scarcity or whatsoever, it is not left for me and you. How are you going to escape? What next if? That's more or less the question that the Spirit of God is putting forward. What next if? I don't know, maybe you understand the question, but I believe the Spirit of God we expatiate it, we throw more light. Don't allow anything to disturb you this time around. In a few minutes, the heaven will open upon your life. And I pray that you will receive the mercy of God. 
the power of God will touch your life. Rule to take over. All shall be well. Make part in fear of God. You are sick of before any to by me, Jesus. Bow down your head and talk to God. That Father, I'm here. You are my maker. You won't let me to mommy, to mommy. You fear and look at the wall, Lord of all, is sick of Mama. That God has granted each one of us grace to be here. We started yesterday. And the Lord was speaking to us from the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 20. We read from verse 11 to 15. But it looks like God is pointing us to that place again. And so today we are going to read from verses 12 to 15. Yes. Verse <laughs> Verse 15. But basi when you can enter your corner, corners. See me where you are. So see no other going on. Beloved, all you fair. The Lord spoke to us expressly yesterday. Oh Lord, we bow our sorrow, Tara. Me ano? That there are two birds and two ducks. We pay a bit more than the birds. See me who make you feel. And those who have two birds, they are going to birds. They are going to heaven of joy, of grace. Of happiness, of glory. I want to bury. I know. I told you of faith. Be made by one lost in it. See me here, here, here. Talk for you. But those who will die twice. To go. I want to bury. I go. You come make it. No back body. And then they will be in hell fire. You know when they be. You know when they are dark. You know there is agony and suffering. Maybe they are cool. We buy it. Because you be what. That was verse fourteen. He is not a secure. But it looks God is going to talk to us from the next verse. Everybody open to Revelation 20 verse 15. What do you want? We should be able to see or a wave or a go as a care to go. Yes, the last verse. We are passing. We are not coming. If there is whosoever. That his name is not written in the book of life. I saw. See what I got. Send him unto eternal fire. The Lord wants to talk today about the book of life. Yesterday, 14th, he spoke about birth and death. But today, from verse 15, he's talking about the book of life. And that anyone who is not found there, when they search to and fro and they could not find it. Such person, whosoever he is, is cast into hell fire. No matter whether you are rich or small, whether you are educated or you are not. Listen to me, friend. I'm telling you that if your name is not found in the book of life, you are automatically instantly sent to hellfire. And I thank God that you are here so that you will not go to hellfire. You are here because when death comes, and death will come one day to everybody. When your own death comes, when my own death comes, that our name be found in the book of life. The book of life is the book of the Lord Jesus. Anyone that has accepted Jesus repented of their sins and Christ has saved them by paying 
for their sins. And in Christ's city, by one, not to the boss of the sea, and share one. They are free eternally. You know, when you pay, what bomb, you know, you know, you know, you will enter into glory and joy. One more, no, go at Chiyo. But whosoever is not found there, she buy any candy, chuck, buy any bed. Let me tell you a little experience I had. And in the world, what teach a woman like us? They want to hand their money, their salary by hand. They mm -hmm. all lined up. They told the book of petition, you're for what I did. Bah, oh, what she did. German. So I saw a young man. No worry, I'm not for it. Well dressed. Oh, what she did. And it came, and it came when the line is almost full. And in the party, it took up to me. I'm not for it. And then he lined up. Oh no, top and And then he was on that line. Oh, so oh, so I do a shampoo. You know, so sweating profusely. Oh, la go bosho. But when the time came, nobody a popoto. And he entered into the presence of that man. Oh, si they were do a gaga. And they were looking at the voucher. What's your role in where I want to come? They could not find his name on the voucher. Best name was Ori Orukore. He moved away. I want to go. They say, "Great pity." They say, "Excuse me." We look now and we can't find your name. So Safuara Kori, oh Shirela, no, Atu Bowe, Atu Orukore. So eventually, you are saying what? He had to leave. Only like to cool on the He was sorrowful. Ah, he panuje la ni. Ah, but he said, "This is my school." Oh, so of what? That he had absconded more than two years. Oh, the pay at any time was he? Oh, to love the other magic. And he came back with a wired, and he wasn't himself again. And in the battle, he made bad a war. Oh, that day, he made bad. He lost his memory. Best in a year or two. And then, because his name was not found in the voucher, no, he was not paid a farthing. A couple. No, I don't know. So you need to remember what you read. Where any old papa or teacher. Beloved, that address what you are thinking today. He said, whosoever his name is not found in the book. Then I'm thinking two ways where your name will not be found in the book. One, a couple. Maybe your name has never been written there. But you are continuing to cause the error. You have not accepted Jesus Christ and what He did on the cross for you. The second point, go to a church. Is that your name was there? But you are not correct to worry. But it was blotted out. So what do you see? I'm not cool. Listen to me, friends. Such a similar. Today is a special day. A day that we are putting the acts of our mother to the heart. And the Lord was informing me that Christians and non-Christians are going to be blessed today if they will hear this word and hear the word it demands. And so one well, lot of well, those who have not accepted Jesus. Well, we spoke yesterday. I saw. Well, if we you are not there, Christ died for our sin. Well, what was the name of Lord Christ to perform? He is to remove your name from the documents of Satan and hell to put your name in the document of Christ, which is of God. Oh, to just watch any part of the book of the Quran, we are blue. So, but uh, let me examine those whose name have been there before. What brought out, what cast out their name? Their name, why did their name removed? So if you are here, your name has been written. And you are not bad among Christians. They will call you disciples. You are hearing and you are bearing the name of a pastor, of a priest, of a bishop. You are a disciple. You are doing whatever they are doing in the church. You 
I want us to examine a person whose name was in the book of life by grace by grace but what happened to him to quickly see I'm talking about a man quickly run with me I'm talking about a man that had grace of God just like you're having grace to listen to us so you have grace that brought salvation unto you but what must you do that your name is not taken out but what must you do that your name is not taken out you are working miracle you are doing one thing or the other you are doing one thing or the other of chapter 1. They confess that they are Christians by their behavior by their character by their walk by their read for me by their character by their character so listen to me friends if you are just being a Christian. What is this? You are saying by somehow, somehow, you are far from the Lord. We by share a word. O Jim Jesus, O Lord, let's see that man. I want to talk about a man. Professor, let me paraphrase him. This man had grace. All the other of him, you know, we are all saved not because of our work. We are all saved by His grace. By the grace of the Lord, we were saved. We are all this man come with me let us see him in the book of Genesis chapter 48 in Genesis chapter we will just read uh, verse uh, to, be, to, to be quick let's read uh, verse 20 straight straight and he blessed them that day. You are Israel. You are Israel. Yes. 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 They cross, they put the hand across like this. Oh, that means the left hand, the right hand that should bless Manasseh came on Ephraim. Oh, what do you do? The left hand that should give the rale rale to Ephraim went, uh, went onto the head of Manasseh. Oh, what and if you look at my hands, what does it form? The cross. So it's the cross that brought salvation. The cross of Jesus. That qualified the unqualified. But Ephraim, when he became the biggest, now, uh, read forward, is it 20? Read complete that 20 or 21. This one is a little bit of a pole. I'm talking of uh, that every 48. Eventually, 48, verse, uh, Benny, Ophiophra, Shadu Manasseh. 
So he put Ephraim before Manasseh. Oh, for Ephraim, oh, shall you Manasseh? Grace placed him above. Oh, no, fair. Oh, wait, I am. Immediately he was born again. Nemba told you to be. His name was written. Oh, look at that one. He was. And his name was put number one. As if he said, Koko before Manasseh. Koto ko Manasseh. Look at what happened. I will tell you. Look at what happened. I will. Let's now go to the book of Numbers. We want to see those who are numbered among those who have grace and go to heaven and go to to, to the glory of God. Those who will enjoy eternal rest and joy and I, glory. I will, How I wish you would make it there. Numbers chapter one. Numbers chapter one. Are you in Numbers chapter 1? We read verse 33 and 35. 3 and 35. Oh, yes. Those who are numbered, who are numbered among the blessings of Israel, those who are numbered were what? 40,000. 40,000. Of what? Forty-five. Of the family of Ephraim. I don't know how many. Ephraim. Thirty-three. That three says, out of those who are numbered, they said forty-something thousand. So the because his name was written among those who are saved, his name became great. Let's see 35 and see Manasseh. I think I to see Manasseh. Yes, what happened? I want to tell you how many Out of Manasseh, why just how many? Just 32,000. When this one asked for 40. Those of you have received grace. What do you know of it? Bow of salvation. You should hold on to Jesus. You should not go on to committing sin. Manasseh began to commit sin. And God removed his sin. As he he removed him from the number. And then, and when he left the number, who will make eternal life in Jesus?
Righteousness is nowhere. But in it, we'll go to school. You enter the church, I know these are bad now. Baba, when you job a year, you go to school. Fornication and you were wrong. Oh, Rikasa. Romans 6 1 and 2. You were wrong. Oh, Rikasa. Yes, Fasa Kini. Yes, and TSA KG. Oh, Baba, you go in there. I want to win. I want to test what you like to my dash at me. Therefore, Omba, I will share it. I know you are born again. But my point wanted that to be. You even say you are among us disciples. But you are playing with idol of money. The idol of fornication. I will share it. I don't do it physically, but you are doing it secretly. In your heart. When you get home, read Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. You will see that those who look at a woman, the Bible says you had already done it, already done it. So that you can walk along with God and enter rest at the end. Look at what Ephraim was doing. Uh, Ephraim was doing. Uh, Osea chapter 4 verse 17. Yes. Ephraim had decided to hold on to all idols. Yes. Yes. Ephraim had decided to hold on to idolatry. To Cast him away. Ah, I am praying my brother. No, my prayer my sister. I am praying my brother. For you that God has written your name already. Where are you to call it to one in the way you? It will not cast it away. Oh, no, you are So that you will not just appear in Bunduku with name, officially, that you are a Christian. But will you make a final rest or go to hellfire? Oh, my father, I don't know. Get a baby on last one. She bought. She won't do a little bit. Because he said, Anyone whose name is not found there, their names that were there before, I want to come to you. And that Exodus 32, verse 3 says, I will remove any person, any name that I have written, I will cast it out of my documents because of their sin. And he was on the field when we pay one year to work through, Nitori Kini, what to open shit. So, as we are going to pray, I want us to see what happened to Ephraim. Ephraim began to just harass everybody. I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, let me do what I like. That is great for us, and you are funny And you saw you are a reverend, you saw you are a bishop, you saw you are an apostle, you saw you are an evangelist, and you are dancing with sin. Osim, by shadow. You are still committing sin. Osim, by shadow. You hate people. O kore la wenye. You don't worship God. O kutoni ba fua na. You worship idol like Ephraim. Ah, ni wana usi orisha. But let us see what happened to Ephraim at the end. Aja wa idani Ephraim. We read in the book of Numbers, his name was numbered. Ah, ni nini wa numberi aroro kore ni ba. But let's see and search for his name now. Aja kia wa idani wa ba i. That is Genesis. Genesis. He was anointed. He was blessed. He was, he was pulled up higher than those who are his equal. But when he continues in sin, let's see what happened to Ephraim. Uh, let's every one of us do the work. Please open your Bible. I want us to check at the end. Those who receive grace to enter eternal life. I said to do I want to do a I you will examine Ephraim. I will Ephraim. At the end of ages. Me open. What happened to Ephraim? Did he enter into glory? So what? No, baby. Did he enter into peace? So what? No, no, no. Because if you die, turn it back. This way with your sin. But look at some question. To Jesus. Why, man, what's up? The only one that can deliver you. That means eternal time 
in hell, Amen. forever in hell. Amen. Two billion years in hell. But thank God for today. Don't be like Ephraim. Let's see what happened to Ephraim. Every one of us will do the work before we pray. Can you turn with me quickly to the book of Revelation chapter 7? We want to examine those who made it at last. Those who enter glory and eternal rest. Those who enjoy life eternal. Please don't let anything disturb you now. Please listen. Please listen very well. I will first want to examine Ephraim. When it May the Lord and His infinite mercy abide with us all in the name of Jesus. Uh, perhaps you want to contact the man of God who has just ministered. You can get him on the Facebook, just in Adishego. You will get him there. And whatever agitates your mind, or uh, perhaps you want to know how best to close, work close with God, contact him. And the uh, Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. We go straight now into Thanksgiving. Amen. The children of Mama and relatives we come round, we we'll appreciate God dancing and glorifying God. Then we'll be followed by every other permission. May God accept your Thanksgiving this day in the name of Jesus.
he could subdue all principalities by himself. And I had a voice from them saying unto me, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest their, from their labors and their work to do all together. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, honor, and adoration. We pray now that we will be given sun to down, dust to dust, that your mercy will continue to abide with the children and the family in the name of Jesus. Amen. That your face will shine upon them. Wherever they go, Father, you will accompany them. Your word which you have heard yesterday and today will abide with them eternally in the name of Jesus. They will not go faulty, neither will they fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for you. Mercy of God will locate you. You will go directly under His light every day of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word we have heard today will not stand against you in the day of judgment. It is well with you, and it shall continue to be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. How can you do it?